Hi everybody, Lewis Sims, Vice President of Global Marketing for Nexa 3D, and today we're talking freeform injection molding. With us today is Sebastian from SKI, oh. one of our wonderful customers and an injection molding expert. So rather than me tell you about our process, I'm gonna let him share his experience with you. I'm gonna talk through the full freeform injection molding process and how you get from CAD to molded part in just eight feet in a few seconds. Take it away, Sebastian. Okay, so we have our XML printed tool here. I'm just going to insert that into our desktop injection molding machine. And here we go. We have a mold base that we have designed. So we have a, a good size of printed tool. We're going to close the lid now to start the process. And here we go. So the tool is closing now. And after the tool has closed, we're going to inject the material. We're injecting a PP material here. So now we're actually purging the material. The cavity is fully filled now. We're going to wait about 60 seconds now for the material to actually cool down again in the cavity. This is one of the main differences to the conventional steel tooling where we have a lot shorter cycle times. But with this kind of solution and the XMO tooling, we get a lot faster to our prototype part. So actually, while we're waiting for the tool to cool down a little more, um, I'm just going to walk you through a few settings that we have here. So we're injecting at 185 degrees C which is the temperature that we're purchasing the, uh, purging the PP also on the, any normal injection molding process. We have an uh, injection pressure of 65 bar, which is perfectly fine to fill a part like that. And we only need a clamping force here of around 1,000 kilos. So we should be right at the end of the cooling time exactly. The tool is opening again. And as soon as it is fully opened, we can just open the cover again, take out our tool where we have the molded part in. And the fun thing about this, we can just take the sprue off. We can open up the tool in the split line. We have our molded part inside the cavity of the x -mold tool. All we need to do now is we need to dissolve the tool and we will have our part. Thanks, Sebastian. So this is how you're able to print the mold in a matter of minutes, go through your post-processing, including washing and curing, and then injecting with our desktop injection molding system from APSX. And if you choose to go with a dissolvable tool, put it in our X-Wash FIM, and you're going from, again, CAD to a molded part in a few hours. So in the same workday, you could be printing and molding your part, and that is an exceptional acceleration of your design cycle. And it's an, so important in injection molding to fail and to fail fast, to get to your optimal design quickly because that's what allows you to get to market faster. And with XMold, you're doing it in a really cost-effective manner as well. This whole production suite right here, the printer, the post-processing, the injection molding unit, everything, all for under 30,000. Thank you so much, Sebastian, for going through the process with us. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys if, check us out. If you have any more questions about FIM, visit our website uh, or contact us, and we'd be happy to talk to you more about your application.